So it's the morning and I'm trying to figure out what plan I want to do tonight. You know, the plan is now on my brain. And so I've got to set up my plan for tonight. And I was thinking tonight might be a good time to do the Orion nebulas and all those objects that are in Orion. Um, it would be highly visible and an interesting one to do in one evening. We'll see if we can do it. Um, let's get started on making a plan. So I figure that's a good plan, but I need to figure out where Orion is in the sky tonight. Um, it moves fairly rapidly in the sky and comes up at different times. And so we need to make sure that it's available and that I'm not going to catch my neighbor's roof or streetlights instead of Orion. So let's look at where Orion is located. And I look and I do it in the star walk because I can change that time. So I change it till about 6 p.m. And I look for Orion and there it is. And it's pretty, pretty decent height in the night sky in the east. So that's what we're going to go with tonight is Orion. All right, so in the C star app, I open up the app and I click on plan. And then at the bottom, I click create a plan. And I'm going to name it Orion. Pretty creative, huh? So I look at the Orion nebulas and figure out which one I want to do first. Um, I know that the mosaic doesn't work really fabulous in the plans because it doesn't rotate with the um, objects as they move in the night sky. So if I'm going to do any mosaics, I would want to do those first off and plan my mosaic around it. But I think I'm not going to do enlarging much for the mosaics, maybe just rotating and maybe that will help because they do fit in the red box. So hopefully they'll stay in that red box. Um, that's my plan to test that out tonight. So we're going to start with NGC 1973. Oops, I misspoke. It's NGC 1977. And you see that's really pretty low on the graph once I added it into the plan. So we may have to change up our plan a little bit tonight because they're pretty low. But we're going to do the Orion ones. We maybe just won't put as much time on each one as I initially thought. I thought I would just do the whole night with just Orion, and that's not going to happen. So this is the first one, NGC 1977. We'll do that first off in the plan. So this one is M42, and it's the biggest one and the most brilliant one that's going to pop out pretty quickly. Um, it didn't really fit in the red box, and so I did enlarge the box, but I didn't change the rotation for the mosaic mode. So it's just the rectangle box, but just the same um, orientation as it was prior to me adding it. So we'll see how that works in the planning mode and if it keeps that centered in that box. Um, so this is so this is M42. It also includes M43, which is the gases and stuff around it. But uh, we put that down into the plan and we see it's going to go um, under the little dotted line pretty early on. So we're going to have to rearrange our schedule a little bit so that it's above the line and we can capture it, even if it's just part of it. We'll shorten the time, not do it as long as we intended, but we'll fit it into the plan somehow and hope that it turns out. So here's the Horsehead Nebula. Uh, we're going to add that one to our plan. Again, I didn't rotate the box at all in the framing. Um, I just kept it the regular size of the box. You'll notice that I was a little deficient in my screenshotting and I, I missed one, but we'll, we'll go over the plan once it's completely set up. But these are the main ones out of the Orion Nebula we're going to do. But um, after this period of time, they go down below that um, line for the horizon and they don't do very well, if at all. And so we don't want to go below that. So we're going to have to fill the night with something else. 
And so I'll look around somewhere close to that in the sky, maybe obviously a little higher in the sky, and we'll see what we can fill in this night plan with. So higher in the sky and on a different elliptical um, trajectory, we find NGC 3982. It's a pretty small galaxy, but we'll try that one. And um, there's actually two in this framing square, one right above the X. And we'll add both of those and see what we can get. Um, adding them, filling up the night is really what we're doing here. Here you can see that NGC 3982 that we've added, and you can see that it has a different trajectory in the sky. So it's it's quite a bit higher than the Orion one, so we shouldn't have any trouble with this one. And there I've added that one. And then for the last portion of the night, I'll just add one more, and it's that galaxy that was in that same framing with this one. This one's pretty small, so we'll see if it even shows up or if it's really too hard to even see. Um, it should show up as at least a fuzzy ball of light, if nothing else. But we'll try this one tonight in addition to the other galaxy. And But the main focus of the night is the Orion. It's just not an ideal time to film Orion where I'm at, but we're going to give it a go. All right, so we're all set up for the night. We're going to image six objects. Four of them are in the Orion constellation, and then two of them are not. Um, you'll see those little boxes down at the bottom <clears throat> underneath the Orion ones. Those are because I've either rotated. Um, it indicates that we've done something with the framing on those. Um, and most of them, I maybe just enlarged the box just a little to capture it all. I didn't do any rotation because that doesn't seem to work really well in the planning mode. Um, the two galaxies at the end, you can see that they're just, uh, they don't have any additional framing on them. We'll just capture those as they are. I'm hoping that since they're both actually located in the same frame, that we can get double time on each one, but we'll see how that works. Actually, I misspoke. The very first one is rotated, but we planned that to be in the night early on so it wouldn't be affected as much by the rotation. Another thing to notice that I haven't probably mentioned before is down there by those framing boxes are those little round circles. I uh, Those indicate that we've turned on the light pollution filter light. And so that's what that means down in the bottom of that box. So it's easy to look and see if you've forgotten to turn on the light pollution filter. Now comes the hardest part. It's waiting for the night to come. I uh, never thought we would look forward to the dark nights, but now that's all we look forward to. Now it's time to see our results and talk about how it went. So everything went off without a hitch last night. Um, the ex external battery we attached was at zero, but the C-Star was still at 98%. So it last, the external battery lasted most of the night. Um, this is the results of our recording the Orion plan. When I accessed the app this morning, there was a firmware update. It didn't tell me what it was going to do or anything. And it wouldn't let me do anything without updating. So I did, and so far I haven't seen any changes. I did look online and it looks like the update is just fixing some known bugs in the software that they had, what those bugs were, and I don't, I don't know. But so far I haven't seen any difference. This was our first one, NGC 1977. It's taken straight from the C-Star, no editing or anything. This is the Running Man Nebula. Can you see it in there? Uh, it did do a lot of dropping of frames last night, so I don't know why it did that. But this, with all of the time we gave it, it only stacked 13 minutes worth of exposures. So this is pretty good for 13 minutes, but 
I don't know if it's just the position in the sky, why it dropped so many of the exposures, but it did it throughout the night. It did that with all of them. So I don't know. This one is IC434. It's the Horsehead Nebula. And it came in pretty quick and pretty bright and just got brighter and brighter as the night went on. I forgot to notate how many exposures this was, but it, it also dropped a bunch of the exposures. So over the course of two hours, I my guess would be it probably is similar to the previous one and got maybe 15 to 20 minutes of exposure. Um, I, I still don't know why it dropped so many, maybe because it was at the apex of its trajectory. I don't know. Here's the M42 and the M43, I guess, technically. It turned out great. It only has about 25 minutes of exposures on this one. This is IC434 just a different region of it. Um, the first one was that Horsehead Nebula. This is a different area of that same object. This is the first image of those galaxies that we tacked on to the end of the plan. Um, they are both in the same uh, picture frame, um, but this is what we got. It, I think it I didn't write it down either, but I think the exposure time was about 25 minutes. And here's the second plan of the galaxies. And you can see them both clearly in this one as well. So the plan last night went pretty much flawlessly, other than a more than usual dropping of the exposures. So I don't know if it's because it's fairly low in the sky and it rotates out of range pretty quickly. I don't know if that's why, but it was a good night for the plan. The Orion plan worked well. I'm going to have to try that one again when the conditions are a little bit better for it being higher in the sky. Tell me some of the plans that you have created and which ones you've liked. Uh, we'll share our knowledge and wishing clear skies to everybody.